All right, Coach, the post-postseason continues here for this team on Monday night, the CIT. How excited is this team to kind of show the country what else it's made of after the conference tournament? Post-postseason, I got that. That's pretty good. Yeah. College That's why I get paid to do it. Yeah, college insider tournament. We're, uh, I think any time you get invited to play in postseason after your, uh, after your conference tournament, it's a reward. And uh, I'm, I'm happy for our guys because I think there's a sense of accomplishment in what they did in order to try and continue to build our program and in, the, in the, the process of being a, a competitive, hopefully nationally competitive program one day. So elated that we get this opportunity and uh, even more so, and I know you're going to ask this question next, so I'll just go ahead and segue it in. You're pretty good about these uh, foretellers. We'll see what you got. Yeah. The McClendon Classic, I mean, John McClendon was a legendary coach, had unbelievable success at a number of institutions and the professional level and Cleveland State University. So to have a chance to play in a game that honors him, I think that's a really unique opportunity. And I'm really glad that Liberty gets to be represented in the, in the postseason, especially in this Classic. How about getting into tournaments like this and the relationships that get built? How important are those to getting those teams that – don't qualify for an NIT or the NCAA tournament? Well, I mean, the good thing is we, we kind of had a choice of, of, you know, a number of, of postseason events asking us to be a participant, which was great. Mm -hmm. And again, uh, we're a 19-win team, so uh, I think hats off to our guys. But uh, for us, it was really just a matter of what was best for our guys. You know, we're on spring break next week, and uh, we, we uh, were fortunate enough to play on Monday. So hopefully if we were fortunate to win, we'd give them a couple of days off and see if they can't sneak a couple of days wherever they wanted on spring break and then get back and prepare for the next round. So uh, I, I, we're very, very grateful for anyone that has an interest in us representing uh, Liberty University in the postseason. And, uh, and the CIT, is uh, we've been in it before, it's a, it's a really classy event. How about the comparisons to where you see teams go to bowl games and the coaches talk about the extra bowl practices yeah. to further the development? Is In some ways, do you see a, a correlation between this and postseason basketball? Yeah, I think the residual that we'll benefit from here is the opportunity to play in a game where it's one and done or to play in a tournament where it's one and done. Like uh, the Big South tournament, we, we didn't play great against Radford. We had a whole bunch of nerves the first time out. I don't think we'll be that again. I think uh, a week ago we've learned from that and, and hopefully we'll play uh, much more relaxed and uh, much more like ourselves. And um, maybe we'll eat a Snickers too. Good commercial, good segue, I like that. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, but, but again, I, I, I'm, I'm just excited for our group to, to have a chance to continue to play, to continue to practice, to continue to improve, and, uh, and also be representative in this event. Kind of referencing the fact that too, you might not be a doctor, but you did sleep at a was it a re Holiday Inn residence in last night? Yeah. I always love catch up with you, Coach. It's always fun. Never know what uh, rabbit holes we'll go into. Yeah, Alan, uh, you're looking sharp today. I know. For once, I've kind of outdressed you and your staff. So Monday night, though, probably won't be the case. No, no, you always outdress me, but that's all right. You got better shoes on than I do, but <laughs> fans don't know that right now. All right, Coach. Appreciate the time. Good luck on Monday. Thanks, Alan.